my name is Amit and today I'm going to show you live how to perform currency conversion hype in financial management there are two sessions in first session I'm going to talk about how to perform currency conversion directly and the second method we'll talk about how to perform currency conversion by using a scripting called translate script the first example today class will take up part first it's a simple example in next class I'm going to show you the same custom currency conversion using scripting so let's get started in order to perform currency conversion in HFM we need to provide set the application properties let's type first HFM metadata setup under this we are going to do application properties there are three property we need to set called default currency uh, currency exchange rate for flow account and currency exchange rate for balance account as we discussed in the previous session then account type has there are 10 type of account dimension members in account types in your HFM uh, revenue expenses asset liability balance balance recurring dynamic group label and currency rate so there are different currency exchange rate for all the account of type balance type and all the account type of flow type Okay. So we need to define the currency exchange rate in addition to the default currency. Let me show you how to set these properties. So in case you are using desktop client, you can modify them under uh, HFM desktop client. Open your application setting. Open your application metadata. I am going to open the same application metadata which we prepared last time. Under HFM working folder, practice application and metadata select your metadata it's an XML file and go to the application setting properties under application setting property you see there is an option called default currency so you define the default currency for whole applications in case you do not define any currency for your entity it is considered to be as USD in this case in addition to this you also define a currency exchange rate for all the account type behaving as flow and account flow and uh, balance rate 1 and rate 2 you see I specified over here this rate 1 and rate 2 are actually member of my account dimension member which are of account type currency rate so if you look at my account dimension you find over here I have a member node a parent member called currency exchange and under this there are two children currency rate is one of the parent there are two rate rate 1 and rate 2 these are basically two account dimension member of currency type currency rate of account type currency rate right the name could be it could be end of month end of month currency exchange rate it is average currency exchange rate it is historical currency exchange rate I use a generic term over here called rate 1 and rate 2 and make sure both of them should be of currency type right so, so select your application properties define currency exchange rate the member you specify in currency exchange rate should be exist in your account dimension member and as type account type equals to currency rate now next is you need to define for each entity you need to define the respective currency if you do not specify currency it will inherit from the parent for example I define currency exchange at regional called USD it will automatically inherit to all the children automatically inherit however you can explicitly define a currency associated with each entity this is considered to be a local currency for the given entity and people are going to input value in the respective entity and as part of the consolidation the local currency will consolidate translate to the base currency or reporting currency so it is also you can see under your desktop client uh, under each entity you can define a currency property over here here it is called as a default currency in EPMA it's a currency type default currency UST in case you are using EPMA application this is also pretty simple you can open your <coughs> Uh, application and dimension library open your dimension library select your dimension and specify the property for example the first property is uh, application type application property so select your application let me select my application application default currency and rate 1 and rate 2 right. in addition to this you define currency for each entity right currency property entity this currency is coming from my currency dimension so my currency should be any one of them euro GBR and USD once you set the metadata 
The next step is to uh, load the exchange rates. There are three terms we use in currency exchange. It's good idea to you should know about them. So local currency in which you input the value. For each entity, there would be a local currency. Currency where entity is loaded. Okay. And local currency convert to reporting currency or presentation currency. Currency in which the consolidated entity will report. So maybe you there's a PepsiCo company which is spread across the globe. And each country they do the business. So they have multiple local currency. When they do business in India, the local currency is INR. And when they consolidate and prepare their finalist financial statement, it would be USD. So their presentation currency may be USD, but local currency is INR. In between your local currency and reporting currency, there's a currency called functional currency. Right? Functional currency, currency of the primary economic environment in which entity operates. So as uh, we'll proceed further, we'll talk about this in greater detail. Functional currency, as the definition specifies, it's a primary economic environment where the entity operates. And there are various other factors which influence this. Depends upon account type. Your different account may have different currency exchange rates. And it is governed and controlled by accounting guidance. Let's do this live. In addition to this, you're supposed to have one currency dimension, uh, which contain all the currencies, currencies in which you can convert currency conversion. So you can even open this and see it. On the currency dimension I shown you, you can also see the currency dimension over here and look at the required properties. Currencies, and you see there are three properties, three dimension, Euro, GB and USD, their description in English, the scaling, the translate operator where uh, it is divide or multiply, so from one currency to another currency, it may be multiply or deploy or divide. For example, USD to Euro, it is multiply and euro to USD it is divide. Once you set up all application property, we do the first step. Step first, we load the exchange rate, currency exchange rate. And in order to perform currency exchange rate, I'm going to create a data form where I'm going to store currency exchange rate from one currency to another currency. The point over here to pay attention, there's a custom one dimension work as a from currency and custom two dimension work as a two currency. So every time you store a currency exchange rate, you define from and two currency with respect to different entity. Select your data grid and create, I'm going to create a new data grid. I open my application first. Under file, open, application. This is my application, practice application 8. I open my application and uh, define the data grid in which we are going to load the currency exchange rates. The currency conversion automatically takes place in, in HFM as part of your consolidation. However, you can explicitly run the currency conversion as well. So I go to consolidate, manage document, and I'm going to create a new data grid. Click on new data grid. Now I need a from currency and to currency with respect to my account dimension. So in my row I'll select from currency custom one dimension to currency custom two dimension and then account dimension so I remove period from here I don't need period account dimension I'll be selecting for which account you would like to perform currency exchange I like to select for rate one and rate two currency exchange rate for currency rate 1 and rate 2. Define product. Product is not going to be set the product dimension from here. Uh, I don't want golf ball. Rather I want from and to currency. So there is a predefined member list called currency. Select this. Call currencies. Under filter called currency, select your member list from currency, uh, USD and Euro. And the same you do for two currency. Select this. It might take a little time to pop up. Remove custom to and select two currency from the member list. Now I define the point of view for which I'm going to load data, actual, 
I'm going to load data for 2003 and the complete point of view. And the same point of view, we're going to use it. Little slow in processing. Right, so I select 2003 point of view, scenario is actual, view, let it be scenario view, entity currency, Sunnyvale, entity currency, ICP none, custom none, increase and for the period of September. I'm converting this for September for increase. Let's make a note of this point of view. And save it and we'll input the value. I name it as currency exchange rate. Currency exchange rate. Save it and run it. Okay. You see I'm not able to make an input over here. It means my one of my point of view is not correct. I select my point of view, increase I make it none. If your point of views are not correct, you cannot input value. Right, so in order to make it easy to calculate, I make currency exchange rate as 2. So whatever I input in USD, it will turn out to be twice of Euro. I input value for rate 1 and rate 2 both. Save and write back. Submit data. Now input value, I open in a data grid in which I input value into USD and when I perform currency conversion, it should convert to Euro. Let me open any data grid. Let's open data grid simple. And just make sure your point of views are completely correct. Right click and open it. I select 2003, same point of view, 2003 for September, mm, we load to September for Sunnyvale, for which account, we cross check for which account we load currency exchange rate, for rate 1 and rate 2. Hmm. Okay, now I input value, I open this. So in actual 2003, entity currency, account damage has changed to sales for which we have inter currency exchange rate. I should use all the account flow type or balance type. I assume in this case my uh, sales is a flow type account. Just quickly cross check all the intersections are correct. Okay, once I ensure my point of views are correct, I'm going to input value into USD. Let's select 2002 value is USD. I input some value over here. I input 300 right? and I explicitly perform currency conversion. Click on save and I'll change my currency and submit this data. Submit data, change currency from USD to Euro. So whatever input I've made in USD, it will multiply by 2 because we have given 2 as a currency exchange rate. Select Euro and select this. You will see the entire grid turns out to be dark green color which demonstrates a calculated major. All the members are read only. 
or no input. So input into September was 300 right click and translate. It turns out to be 600. Right? So this is how you can perform currency conversion. Alt